Hi, I'm Lisa. I'd like to help you understand the vocabulary in newspaper articles. In this video, I will teach you some advanced professional vocabulary from an article that I was reading last week in the Los Angeles Times newspaper. While I was reading it, I said to myself, there are so many important words and some common expressions in this article that my advanced students probably don't know. I wish I could teach them these words because these words are important to know. I will show you some sentences from the article and I will teach you the meaning of those words. I will also give you sample sentences using the words in different situations and we will also practice the pronunciation of some difficult words. The article is about some changes happening for the employees of Netflix, the video streaming company. I found out that Netflix is available in over 190 countries around the world, so it's probably available in your country. Recently, the company has been losing money and laying off some employees because fewer people are watching Netflix these days. Let's look at some parts of the article and learn the vocabulary. And then at the end of the video, I will give you the list of the words that we learned. And there's a link to the article in the description below. Let's look at the first sentence. Last week, Netflix said it lost subscribers for the first time in more than a decade, shedding 200,000 subscribers in the first quarter, and it expected to lose 2 million more this quarter. Let's look at the word to shed. That means losing or getting rid of. For example, you can say, the company is shedding a large number of jobs. This word is often used when hair falls off an animal. For example, you can say, the cat is shedding hair. Let's look at the next sentence. Shares plummeted 35% on April 20th, its biggest one-day decline since 2004. A share is a share of ownership. So the value of the company decreased. And do you know the meaning of the verb to plummet? It's word 152 from my video course, 400 advanced words you must know for fluent English. Let's listen to the way I explained it in the course. The next verb is to plummet, to plummet. And that means to drop quickly, to decrease sharply. The stock market plummeted to its lowest point in decades. Let's make sure you're pronouncing decades correctly. A lot of my students make a mistake and they stress the second syllable. So it's not decades, it's decades. The word decade has a different meaning from the word decade. Let's say it again, decade. The stock market plummeted to its lowest point in decades. His reputation plummeted after he was accused of the crime. His reputation plummeted after he was accused of the crime. And let's make one more sentence. As the meteor plummeted to the earth, it broke into tiny fragments. And let's say the earth, the earth. As the meteor plummeted to the earth, it broke into tiny fragments. His good grades in school plummeted. They went from very good to very bad. They plummeted. Let's look at the next sentence. But the bleak subscriber numbers and the company's response have stirred a mix of angst and uncertainty among many rank and file workers. We have a lot of words to look at here. The words bleak, stir, angst, the pronunciation of uncertainty, and rank and file. Bleak means not hopeful or not encouraging or depressing. You can say his medical prognosis was bleak. He didn't get good news. Or the future looks bleak for that industry. And do you know what to stir means? It means to mix 
or to cause a movement or change or to disturb. You can say, I stirred the coffee or she was stirred by the sad story. And don't confuse to stir with to steer. In your car, you have a steering wheel. So if you steer something, you make it go in a particular direction. But this is stir. Listen to the difference. To stir, to steer. I stirred it, I steered it. Look at the word angst, angst. And that means anxiety or worry. You can say, I could hear the angst in your voice. And the sentence said, the bleak subscriber numbers and the company's response have stirred a mix of angst and uncertainty. Let's pronounce uncertainty correctly. First, let's look at the word certain. Repeat after me, certain. We're gonna hold that T and we're gonna reduce the AI, certain. And that means sure, somebody is sure of something. And when you are uncertain, you're not sure, you're doubtful. And the noun is uncertainty, uncertainty. We can say the future is full of uncertainty. There was a look of uncertainty on her face. And the next expression is rank and file workers. Rank and file are the ordinary workers, the ordinary members of an organization, not the leaders and not the managers, the rank and file. Let's look at the sentence one more time. This time you will be able to understand it perfectly. But the bleak subscriber numbers and the company's response have stirred a mix of angst and uncertainty among many rank and file workers. Let's look at the next sentence. Some are worried that the streaming heavyweight may have hired too fast and grown complacent as subscriber growth skyrocketed in the early days of the pandemic. In this case, some means some people. The heaviest category of weight in boxing is the heavyweight category. Also, a heavyweight is an important person or a successful person or a leader. And we can say, he is a heavyweight in the local government. Let's look at these two words, to grow complacent. To grow means to become. For example, you can say, I grew tired, or he grew anxious. In this case, it's to grow complacent. If you become complacent, you become satisfied with your work or with your situation so that you stop trying to improve things. We can say there's a danger of becoming complacent if you win a few games. The nation must not become complacent about the quality of education in our schools. Let's listen to how some other people used it. I like to be creative versus complacent. Never become complacent and satisfied where you are. The next word is a verb, to skyrocket. And the past tense is skyrocketed. Repeat after me skyrocketed and that means to increase very quickly and usually this is used for prices or for amounts a sudden increase by a very large amount for example you can say housing prices have skyrocketed recently the prices have increased a lot or the unemployment rate has skyrocketed let's look at the sentence again and you'll be able to understand it better some are worried that the streaming heavyweight, in this case, that means Netflix. Netflix is the streaming heavyweight. May have hired too fast and grown complacent as subscriber growth skyrocketed in the early days of the pandemic. Let's look at the next sentence. An overriding concern for many is job security, which was magnified Thursday when Netflix cut an undisclosed number of marketing-related positions, including from Tadam, a publication dedicated to promoting Netflix content. Look at the word overriding. Overriding means dominant, more important than others. So overriding concern means the biggest worry. This is my overriding concern. We can say our overriding priority is to make our customers happy. 
It is of overriding importance to finish the project by Friday. The overriding need is to end the war. And the word cut here means reduction in the number of employees, firing people. We can say there were a lot of job cuts at this company. Let's look at the word undisclosed. Undisclosed means not made known publicly, unrevealed. To disclose is to make information known, to reveal. It's usually secret information or new information. We can say he didn't want to disclose the amount of his salary. Or the purchase price was not disclosed. It was undisclosed. We can also say she finally disclosed the secret. They met at an undisclosed location. Or we can say the company was sold for an undisclosed amount. Let's look at our sentence again. An overriding concern for many, in this case many means many people, is job security, which was magnified Thursday when Netflix cut an undisclosed number of marketing-related positions. So here, to cut the positions means to fire people, to let them go. An undisclosed number means we don't know how many people they fired. Let's look at the next sentence. This feels like a huge curveball one former employee said. Curveball comes from baseball. When a pitcher throws a ball, causing it to drop and go to the side, that's a curveball. So when someone does something which is unexpected, something that surprises you, or something that is disruptive, that is a curveball. We often say to throw someone a curveball. He threw me a curveball. And that means I didn't expect him to say that or I didn't expect him to do that. Let's listen to how some other people used curveball. Even if life throws you a big major curveball. When life threw you a curveball, you didn't give up. Let's look at the next sentence. Further fueling the anxiety is the effect of the steep stock slide. Netflix shares have dropped 70% this year on staff compensation. Let's look at the word fueling. Fuel is a substance such as coal or oil or gasoline that is burned to provide heat or power. And the verb is to fuel. Let's pronounce it correctly. Fuel. Fuel. We can fuel a situation. That means it becomes worse or it becomes more intense. We can say it this way. His angry words fueled the argument further. Don't fuel the situation. Don't make it worse. So in this sentence, fueling the anxiety means to make their anxiety worse. Further fueling the anxiety is the effect of the steep stock slide. Steep is an adjective. Do you know what it means? Steep is word 105 from my online course. Let's listen to the way I explained it in the course. The next word is steep. Steep. And steep means set at a high angle a sharp slope. But we also use steep when something is very expensive. When the price is unreasonably high, we say it's steep. I was exhausted after climbing the steep hill. Make sure the B is silent in the word climbing. Let's say that again. I was exhausted after climbing the steep hill. You must be a very experienced skier to ski down such a steep mountain. Let's say the word mountain again. Mountain. Mountain. You must be a very experienced skier to ski down such a steep mountain. And now let's use the word steep in the other meaning when something is very expensive. The steep price at the private club was set so only rich people could join. So if we say steep stock slide, that means the value of the stock decreased a lot and it decreased quickly. It was steep. Let's look at the next sentence. 
they were told that Thursday was their last day and that they would receive two weeks severance. We can say severance or severance pay. And that's money that the company gives its employees when it has to stop employing them. When she lost her job, she received two months of severance pay. Okay, let's review the words that you just learned. Here is the list. Do you remember the meaning? To shed. To plummet. Bleak. To stir. Uncertainty. Angst. Rank and file. Heavyweight. To grow. Complacent. To skyrocket. Overriding. Cut. Undisclosed. Curveball. To fuel. Steep. Severance. And now practice using these words by making your own sentences. And I recommend that you read a newspaper article at least once or twice a week. Write down all the new words, look them up in the dictionary, and then use them in your own sentences. Thanks for watching and keep practicing your English. To get the two courses, the American Accent Course and the 400 Advanced Words You Must Know for Fluent English, go to accurateenglish.com.